that language passed in the House but failed in the Senate, where it was opposed by Defense Secretary James Mattis, Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson and senators on both sides of the aisle. But the final version of the act did include concessions to Rogers and Cooper with management and procedural changes meant to streamline the existing space programs and language calling for a study on the creation of a separate branch. Mattis has reversed his initial opposition, he introduced the vice president's speech. Pence declared that the plan was to establish a space force by 2020. Although the White House can alter some policy via the Department of Defense, the establishment of the Space Force will require legislative action. What the Vice President unveiled today is a set of interim steps the Department of Defense will begin to take immediately to start building the foundations for a Space Force, said Todd Harrison, a director and aerospace expert at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Ultimately, Congress will need to create the Space Force in legislation, so this is what the administration can do on its own in the meantime. Pence said that the Space Force would serve as the sixth branch of the military, comparing it to how the Air Force grew out of the Army Air Corps following World War II. The Trump team went into campaign mode shortly after the announcement, sending out an email to supporters asking them to vote on a logo for the planned military division. Not everyone supports the idea. Retired NASA astronaut Mark Kelly called it a dumb idea in a Thursday interview with MSNBC. The Air Force Space Command already does this at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado, said Kelly. They do this with about 20,000 people, which might sound like a lot but compared to the other branches of the military it's relatively small and it's sized the way it needs to be for the threat. Kelly agreed with Pence that there's a threat referencing a 2007 incident in which the Chinese blew up one of their own satellites with a surface-to-space missile. The United States shot down one of its own satellites a year later using a modified missile from the USS Lake Erie to take out an inoperative spy satellite in decaying orbit. But he said it was redundant and would simply create more bureaucracy.